bright because we've got this beautiful skylight. And as nice as it is to have the sun coming in, we also want to be able to close that up. So what we're planning to do is put in a blind that's on a motor so that it doesn't get too hot up here like it is now. A landing or a hallway on the upper floor is a great spot to put your personal items so that you don't see them as soon as you walk in the front door. So this is the guest room. Right now it's an empty canvas and we can basically do anything we want. So what we're hoping to do is make it feel like a hotel. That way when your out of town guests come over, they feel really, really welcome. So what we're planning to do is put in a new bed, nightstands, table lamps, and a beautiful wallpaper behind me. So now we're in office number two. So office number two will get a new wallpaper, desk, chair, a large credenza for your printer and paperwork. And the main attraction in this room is the wallpaper. So the wallpaper is gonna act for a great backdrop for your Zoom calls. So this is the master bedroom. So the master bedroom already has a chandelier and a fireplace with a narrow marquina marble slab, which is gorgeous. It even has an area to put your TV. The, what's missing is all of the furniture and drapery and accents. So we're gonna be doing that. So we'll be furnishing the room with a king bed. We're hoping to do it in a blue color. Two nightstands, table lamps, new bedding, new throw pillows. Rather than doing a wallpaper in this room, we're gonna be doing a molding treatment on the wall so that we can create a pattern that we want. Um, the other thing that we're gonna do is put in a new TV. Now, the other item is the drapery. So we want this on a motor so that when you wake up in the morning, you can just hit a button and the drapes will open up. I think the main theme of this room is going to be like a black and white feel. That's the vibe that I'm going with, just to kind of complement the marble that's behind me here. Last but not least is the side chair, which will go in the corner. And every master bedroom needs a full length mirror. So we'll pop a full length mirror over here so you can check yourself out before you head in. So here we have the entrance from the garage. So what we're going to be doing with that is we'll be placing a full length mirror here. You know, with any of these empty walls, we just want to fill them up. So we'll have a wall art over here, maybe a lead shelf on this wall here, and maybe a few pieces throughout the hallway to just make it come together. So this home has a room in the basement, which is perfect for your at-home gym. So we're going to be placing a full-length mirror, some gym equipment, we'll have a, a decal on this wall here, as well as an inspirational photo. So here we are in the basement family room. So in this room, we're planning to create lots of seating, really comfortable seating, and a place where you can just kick back and watch TV. Now, one of the issues in this specific room is that you've got the exit to your back door. We don't want to block this exit, so what we're going to do is instead of having your sofa all the way to the back wall, we're actually going to move it up, create a nice L-shaped sectional with two chairs, a gallery wall with all the um, family photos or maybe some photos of travel and then behind me we're going to have a feature wall so the feature wall i'm thinking something that feels like a really modern movie theater so i want to incorporate different colors and we're going to really glam this wall up so this area over here is a small corner that we can actually use for a small bar section so i'm hoping to put in um, just an area for some glasses uh, maybe a beverage fridge maybe a popcorn machine where you can come in and grab your snacks and watch your movie. This wall over here is a side wall and it's perfect to display your own personal photos. So in this home, what we've chosen to do is actually display photos from their travels. So the couple has traveled all around the world together and we want to pick photos that are really um, meaningful to them. So it's a great place to do that in your bedroom. This home has this gorgeous feature wall and it has three shelves on either side with lighting and it's screaming for accessories. So what we're gonna do is put in uh, some books, decorative objects, maybe some greenery, and maybe a few personal touches um, from their travels. So in this home, um, the fireplace width turned out to be just shy of this TV size that they need. So initially we were thinking to go with a 55 inch TV because it actually fits within this frame. But to be honest, I felt like the viewing distance was just too far for a 55 inch. So we're breaking the rules of 
far more appropriate for this viewing distance. So this sectional is gonna be super comfortable, really low 